This is the third tool that can be used for scenario-based modeling, which is one of the Modified Modeling Language, or UML. I will discuss about swim lane diagrams. Swim lane diagrams represents the flow of activities described by the use case and at the same time indicate which actor, if there is or if, the, uh, if there are um, multiple actors involved in specific use case, or analysis class has responsibility for the action described. For example, based on this diagram, Uh, based on this swim lane diagram, the student actor is responsible for entering course search and selecting a class, right? Then, the software interface or the analysis class, this one, the software interface, is responsible to these scenarios. So we have display all sections for a, for a course on, uh, until um, save pre-enlisted classes. Note that these actions indicated here are actions drawn from the activity diagram. The difference is that uh, we organize the activities or scenarios according to actors and to the analysis class who are responsible for the action. Hopefully you have gained insights with all of the UML tools um, that I discuss or explain here for the scenario-based modeling. I would like to emphasize that this modeling tools or activities will not make your work complicated, but instead it will create a fully organized way on how to create a quality-based system.